breaking a cycle or routine. So in this video, what we're going to start to do is identify how we get into routines which don't serve us and how to break out of a cycle or routine which is keeping us within a, a state of mind which is actually feeding off of us and isn't allowing the self to raise into a higher state of existence. So to put simply and quite effectively, we are the ones who are creating the cycle and it's no one else. And we will always stay in a cycle as long as we believe someone else is to blame. So step one is to actually take ownership and activate within the, the righteousness of one's choice. Once we activate and, and truthfully see that there is no one to blame is the first step. As long as we do choose to blame somebody, we will always be a slave to the mind because the mind loves to point fingers and say, this is the person that's doing the harm. This is the person who's creating the hurt, which is very true. They are. It's very, very true. But this is not what we're, we're talking about here. What we're talking about is if we truthfully want to activate and move forward, the, the key component of elevating out of that pattern or routine is to honor one's potential of breaking that cycle and to elevate one's energy out of, you could say, the, the limitation of oneself is to truthfully align with taking ownership for oneself. It's, it's extremely crucial to take ownership for this moment. And that's step one. Once we can align and, and truthfully focus our attention that there is no one to blame, that's when we actually contain the fire. Because if we are always blaming someone, we're constantly shooting the fire to other people. And that fire is the very essence which is going to illuminate oneself and, and illuminate one's potential. If we're constantly releasing our fire into other people through anger and frustration, we will always be left weak and frail to actually achieving and conquering one's higher self. And it's, it's no coincidence that we are, we are always putting fire into other people as the, the, the inner self needs that inner fire to truthfully have this inner determination to move forward. And, and it's these things that we're not taught. We're taught that we should be frustrated if someone's bothering us and, and that's how we... Which is true, but as long as we are constantly pointing fingers and judging someone for their effect onto us, we can never truthfully activate within self-alignment and self-inner determination. Now, with that said, once we can contain our energy within the form of ownership, we can start to understand that the real reason why we haven't been able to move forward is because we're spending so much energy thinking about how people are affecting us. And once we contain the fire and learn that no one's to blame, no one can be to blame because it's our choice which is choosing to blame other people. Once we take back this fire and understand that, okay, people are affecting us, but I'm going to stop blaming people now. I'm going to stop pointing fingers and I'm going to take that fire, which I'm normally using to shoot people, shoot people down or point fingers and judge and, and criticize. And there's truth to it. These people are affecting us. There's no hiding that. But what once we start to hold the fire and truthfully align with that fire and ask some questions such as, what am I doing to get away from these people? 
instead of just keeping them all in my life and, and pointing fingers, what am I doing to escape the existence which is no longer serving me? What am I doing to elevate and not escape, but to honor these people for who they are or these this existence for what it is? And what am I doing to truthfully raise out of that energetical frequency, which is holding me in its perceptional field? And what am I doing to use that as a as an art of learning and an art of appreciation, which will come with time. And once we can truthfully honor the moment for what it is, even in the even if if, if in this moment it's it's completely irritating and frustrating and and it's just almost saddening that we're having to feel the existence. As long as we can honor the existence existence for what it is and learn to accept, we can truthfully start to instigate a pathway and align with the pathway which is going to move us out of the contamination of frustration. And what we will see is that we will always stay within a negative routine or a... Um, a routine which is no longer serving us if we're frustrated with ourselves. Once we start to accept the truth for whatever it is and start to contain that inner fire, we will see ourselves starting to free from the frustration. Once we free from the frustration, we will understand that we have broken the routine. We are only forming a negative routine or a negative pattern once we start to close ourselves off from acceptance. And that is effectively the code to any frustration, is once we stop accepting something for the truth which it is, we form frustration. And it's a very interesting mathematical formula when you start to think about it. Once we start to close ourselves off from accepting, free frustration is formed. So to flip it on its opposing axis, as long as we start to accept for who we are and what we are in this moment and everything which is interacting with us, we can heal the frustration and we can start to connect and align with the pathway to the higher self. And the higher self will always present itself as love. So as long as we can listen to the love or the, the inner love, which is, which is within us all, we can all start to heal ourselves from the lower densities of sound, which is frustration, anger, hatred, jealousy, neglect, doubt, 